Today I'm going to reveal my exact strategy on how to test products and how to figure out if something is a winner and which product to test. Guys, this is basically like before you're even scaling and stuff like that, you need to know how to find a winning product and how to test it. So guys, this video, and it's not a look like video, that'll be my next one, but this video will be, be really, really valuable. So make sure to take this into the consideration because you always want to be testing like this. This is just incredible video, guys. So last video's giveaway winner is Eddie. I'm just going to try to find him. This guy here on the top there keep up the good work he says okay that's cool i mean thank you for that of course i'm gonna keep up the good work you know we love to do this and guys like the new webcam is there it's not really that good so i think i'm probably gonna get a new one but it's decent so let's just even waste any time and i'm going to get into how to make page posts you know good page posts ads stuff like that and i'll see you guys in the computer what's up guys okay so we're in my ads manager right now and i'm just going to show you guys really really quick and you know we're going to go over the testing strategy but just look at like how insane the results are like in q4 this ad set made like five sales and the ROAS is still on 27 you can see like the overall campaign we spent 1600 to make like um, no we spent 2300 to make 1.6 that's just one campaign and we got like more of them for sure and we got like 32 percent video which is so insane what is the roster okay guys we're not going to waste time on my stupid thing let me just just show you okay guys so i just switched up that account i'm going to show you guys really really quick how i would definitely recommend to do this thing so what we do first of all we obviously hit page post because we want to have page posts and guys this is exactly how we should test posts right i recommend you to not skip anything honestly just pay attention to what we're doing so we want the page post right so we always go for photo i mean unless you have like insane pictures doesn't matter so let's just pretend that we're selling these drumsticks i mean they were pretty cool for me earlier let's pretend that we're selling these drumsticks so what i would do i would just do this and then i would say like sorry for the keyboard sound and i don't know how to spell darkest if it's darkness that doesn't matter glow up in the darkest rooms and then you go uh, uh, you go start here and then you go here and then link to the product page make sure it's a bitly so just like a short always make sure you send it to the product page and then it's you know like you do um, if we just change up here so no one gets irritated and there you already got the page post what you do you just copy this one and you do create post and now we have you know we have one of them created so we can just copy it and then we'll just put in another photo and I'm not gonna do all three of them but just pretend that we're gonna do all three of them because that which I recommend you guys to do but you just do that until you have three and then you make a carousel ad where you combine all of them right so now we do a carousel of all the page posts we already have so we have we have those two that means we're gonna do two ad uh, sets no two two uh, carousel ads with those and on the headline i just do like ma magic and i could do like elegance it doesn't matter point of point here is just like you do that so when you have enough page posts i, I recommend like two to four that is a really really good range like if you have like three that's awesome we're going to create a campaign and it's just how we test products right so let's just say we sell drumsticks we just call it drums um uh, no that's the wrong one sorry and you want to oh facebook is trying to tweak it trick us into doing the campaign uh, budget optimization uh, my facebook has i don't know um anyways conversions that's always what we want to be aiming for right and we don't want to test with cbo why should we even test with cbo we can scale with cbo so what we do here first of all i just gonna really quick just put in the ad so we get that stuff out and go in so we just enter the post this is where you always duplicate your ads manager because it wastes, makes it way way more efficient for you guys to do this by the way if you implement this strategy in like q4 this is not a scaling strategy but keep in mind i you know i have all the best info on scaling out there so like if you just implement this one for testing products you should be finding a winner with like in no time honestly so there we got that one and then just watch the scalings so you create a facebook pixel this is not my ad account i know it says henrik up here but it's for a client of mine we haven't even started but it's actually on her page so you obviously have your pixel set up that shouldn't be a big deal and then you do five dollar a day that is for some weird reason the currency is not in dollar anymore it was like two days ago but you want to do five dollar a day ads and then you schedule it for me for me this is like uh, for me, this is 12 p.m. or a.m. or whatever. Like you want, you want to schedule ads to start at 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. I don't, 
or I know the difference, but you want to do uh, worldwide and then you want to exclude the following countries. The countries you can exclude will be found in this description. So when you guys going to do this thing and you're going to, you know, get, get upload a product, you, when you're going to test product, look in the descriptions of this video and you will find all the countries to exclude. It will be right down there in my Instagram too, you know, always plugging you guys. Um, this is for look likes, don't even care about it. Like if I don't talk about any stuff, it just means you don't care about it. Guys, trust Facebook. They always optimize ages and genders i mean like you could be selling a you could be selling a girl product like a barbie girl and you could still do ages men and women because for the first hours w men will see it but like uh, facebook optimizes right so if i sell a barbie a barbie doll to a men and women it's only going to be women who've seen it because those are the only people that's going to engage right so that's why we just test broad that's why we're going to do expand interest as well we don't scale with expand interest never do that but we definitely test with that button on so for uh, my drum product i'll probably look for like drums and if we have like drum drum stick is that something yeah 4.5 million that's awesome so we just take this one and then just you know keep a good structure on it we just name the ad set the same and this goes out to all of you guys that's asking me how you can do this you need to just implement a good testing strategy and you'll be able to find so many winners obviously you gotta test some but don't be afraid of this button people say it's bad it's cool for testing but just make sure that when you're scaling and duplicating you want to get rid of this one like that it's cool for scaling edit placements we only want to be doing instagram feed and facebook feed absolutely everything is bad in my opinion keep that in mind it's my opinion i don't mess with stories i don't do any of that if i scale i might do stories just to test and see how it performs but normally like no nah, i rarely do that just stick to instagram and facebook feed that's where it's easiest to get the sales everything is basically ready now guys so we can just look over so what we did was instagram and fb feed all devices here we're not going to do only mobile if only mobile people uh, likes to add like they're the only going to see it you know facebook optimizes towards who's engaging then the interest here ages and genders all the same obviously if it's a girl product you want to do women that was just like me talking about how it's how it's uh, optimizing worldwide the countries is in the description to exclude and this is like you're scheduled to start at midnight or middle of the day and five dollar days is 50 crowns that still means five dollar day and you obviously have your pixel ready so we're gonna we, we, we want to be publishing this one. Oh, are you serious okay guys so it looks like this ad account haven't been used for ages that it took, took a random so i had to put in my you know card information and stuff like that, that sucks but like I, mean, I never do ads on this account. You know, the one I showed earlier, it's still, it, that was in a business manager that I got down there, but I'm not really going to show you guys the name of that. Um, so let's just wait. So one ad set got an error. We don't even care about that because you guys want to really get that problem. I don't know what has happened. It's just unlucky, right? So don't care about the ad sets getting an error. It doesn't matter, like, because that's not going to happen to you. So let's just pretend it never got an error. So you want to duplicate the add not the ad set and then you just want to you know hit the page post on another one so we'll just do this one and now we have two page posts i can just click publish here we have this one and this one that means i'm going to show you guys we're just going to put in like shop now you guys obviously know you want to send them straight to your product page not to your home page like to the actual product i'm not going to bother putting this in because i'm not going to do this ad set anyway and then we get this stupid thing and then you basically just publish this one. I don't know why my keeps telling me to add credit cards. I don't know. So that's why it's set up error. It's because I haven't added a credit card. But you just want to be duplicating this one seven times. And the only thing you want to be changing is the interest. If you just duplicate your ad set, they're all errors. Don't worry. It's just because I'm putting my credit card. You get the point. Like if you can't get the point here, even though it's errors, you 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 need a little more of a common sense, right? Because it's actually what I'm doing here. So now we could think of either we could think of drum brands, such as like Tama, they make good brands. You probably like if you're a guitar player you probably are like gibson or taylor they make good guitars we can think about brands for this product but if you don't want to think too much out of the box we can just do drums because you know facebook will optimize right so oh that's the wrong one sorry we just do drums as an interest and exactly like this there we got a good interest and then we name the ad set to drums and we just go to the top and publish and get the error you guys don't get the error
and then you just want to be duplicating again i recommend duplicating from the original one you don't want to be messing with number of copies just do one at a time because you're not going to get it do it any quicker anyway so now we can just hit um suggestions honestly and then we got drummer we got drum workshop obviously guys you you want to be doing your research right even musician could work here because musicians will be optimized towards drummer so let's just use let's just use uh maybe just use drummer that's a cool one then let's get rid of this one we don't do any engage shoppers just stupid stuff and then we just add in this one and then because when you add in the names you'll be able to see which one's generating sales right and then we duplicate again we're just going to duplicate until we have seven and i'm just going to do one last example here of how to utilize the suggestion tool because what we can do if we feel like our suggestions are really bad we could start changing it up a little we could do like music and then we could do drums because now we'll no that's the stupid one then we could do drums because oh, seriously yeah now we'll get a way better um we'll get a way better suggestion because we added all of these ones so it's more straight to the point right so most of this stuff will be yeah, exactly it's just so good right because we got all of the best ones live music is probably perfect like if you're playing in a live band you definitely want to glow up with these like sticks you know so you just want to be doing that and then just name it live music whatever and then you publish and i get the error but you guys don't so and the goal here is just to make seven of these ones if it says like in draft and stuff like that just keep waiting if it says no ads that's a bug and it's don't care about it, it's not a problem at all only reason is because you know i didn't put in my credit card because i've never used this ad account before so moral of the story you want to make seven so down here where it says four it just says seven so you just continue duplicating just like i did until you have seven ad sets suggestion will be your best friend and if you find an interest you don't know what it is it's better to just search that interest up in google instead of going you know like um oh it's better to search up the interest in Google than to ignore it if you don't know what it is because that could actually be your banger. Why Why do you not put in time right, to research this? So you definitely want to be doing that. So goal here is just, it's just my simple scaling strategy, not, nothing special, but I think it's value because if you're going to utilize my scaling videos, you need to know how I test. So just make seven ad sets with two ads under each two to four. If you have four, that's awesome. With one campaign, you don't do any CBOs and you keep expanding interest in on just while testing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little like bad because of this stupid like card stuff. It's probably because like a new ad account and then whatever. I don't know. I've never used it before. Like you guys clearly can see because of one campaign. But you get a strategy. You want to be having seven, right? And then you run it for 48 hours. That means each one is going to spend $5 a day. $5 a day times seven is 35 a day, which is seventy dollars after 48 hours right so after 48 hours you can kill it or you can scale it if you need help scaling you just look at the scaling videos because i'm not selling you that course or anything i give you absolutely everything for free obviously if you people work with me you work with me you will probably get more value but like there's a lot of free stuff out there so next video is going to be look likes and then i'm going to be doing a video where i show you guys one of my stores and how the perfect store should look so i'll talk to you guys then and have a good day